Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you the latest information not only on Tropical Storm Herald. It is at 47 miles per hour winds right now. It is going to be a strong tropical storm as it comes on land, but it is moving further and further to the south with the rainfall amounts. Plus, what's coming up next, because it is trending with multiple models, guys, that we still have this Gulf hurricane coming right into the Gulf, straight by the Yucatan and forming and coming straight north for us right after we deal with with Harold. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year along. And you can see this morning they did put the aircraft out in there and they did pick up a lot of winds in the high 50s on most of these flight plans. A lot of 50 miles per hour winds, even 60 in there, guys. So it is picking up a little bit on strength. It's definitely not going towards Houston. It's all going a little southern on a little pop-up storms. But now it's just now coming through where you're getting Corpus Christi in there. You're getting a Tropical storm force winds. You can see the wind field right here. You're going to have at least 39 miles per hour sustained winds the whole time. Getting about 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts. So you have this band passing through now. And you do have a few other bands that is going to continue to pass by as the center of circulation is still out here in the Gulf. So it's not considered a landfall until the center comes across. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you share this information to others, people. Because I am going to show you this record smash and heat that's coming as well. Smashing records by four or five degrees at least all the way back to around 1980s from what I can see from this morning. Plus what's coming next in the tropics, you will see for yourself it is still trending. Now if you've never been here before, we've been talking about this Gulf hurricane for almost 10 days, maybe a little bit more now. I try and give as many early alerts as I can. Just one day or two days ahead of time is not enough time to prepare. So make sure you subscribe. And just like I showed you a few days ago, all this big old heat dome is still building up, still bringing a very high ridge to the north, allowing this heat to come north. And after this weekend, as we go into this weekend, it's going to keep lowering down. Then after this weekend, it is going to move to the west. That's still true. And still bringing some precipitation towards Texas. That's still true also. But what's also still true is that this is going to cause for a potential hurricane to come right into our Gulf as we deal with Franklin, still coming close to the coast, but getting pushed out by that trough while we get this potential hurricane coming in. Now the Euro is seeing it here. Another model, the Canadian is seeing it here. Even the ghost satellite is seeing it here. It is trending, I will show you guys. Also Harold, predicted to stay a tropical storm as it gets on land. I still think it's gonna be a high-end tropical storm. Then it'll be a depression as it goes through Western Texas and Northern Mexico. You still have tropical storm warnings and tropical storm watch out still. You can also see with the hurricane panel that it is going further to the west, southwest as it gets closer. And that's bringing a lot of your rainfall amounts further to the south. Now, as it passes, you're still going to have these rain bands and they're still going to hit towards Corpus Christi afterwards and add some more rainfall. But until then, it's going to be light amounts, but it will be heavier after it passes. But it's going to pass pretty quick. It's still going to be a fast mover. And you can also see on your 10 miles per hour sustained winds, when it does that west-southwest, it just loses all its energy. It was at 53 miles per hour sustained winds, so it is going to get a little bit stronger. Then as it goes west-southwest, it just weakens back down, down to 51 before it comes on land, brings 20, 30, maybe even getting a high 30, maybe even a 40 miles per hour sustained winds right along the coast. That's what that red is on this legend, is 40s. And as it gets on there, it's going to be 20s and 30s as it passes through. That's sustained winds. You still going to have 40, maybe low 50 miles per hour wind gusts passing with it. And you can see this from HRRR. So for the next 12 hours, it's going to start bringing them 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts. The purple is the 50s. So it will bring the 50s. All the higher winds will be offshore. And in the next 24 hours, it will continue to go west. Still trending that is going to strengthen as it goes further west. So northern Mexico, y'all going to be getting 50s and 60s. While Texas started getting into the high 50s as it goes further to the west and southwestern Texas. And then in 48 hours, keep on going to the west. And the rainfall as well, you can see in the next 12 hours, Corpus Christi might get two inches. While it goes further to the west, southwest with the heaviest amounts, even Raymondsville over two inches. Just a lot of good rainfall coming. But in the next 24 hours, after the bands come across, 
then you might be over three inches closer to four while that brings heavier rainfall towards the western southwestern side of texas and heavier in mexico still got a lot of good rainfall still coming but it's not going towards san antonio towards houston dallas none of that i'm still showing y'all still gonna get some after this pattern for this weekend but it is going all the way down to southern texas with this rainfall so you can see here with the euro after you go through these hot temperatures this week that heat dome moves to the west still you're still getting precipitation coming into texas still getting that potential hurricane as well and it is trending with multiple models you can see here with the canadian you are getting a rainfall and you are getting that potential hurricane so as you look for a chance for a tropical depression in 72 hours of course you have harold going you have franklin going but you have what's building over here in the eastern pacific right by the central american gyre that's what it does it builds a lot of low pressure systems now the one thing is if it builds on the east side of the yucatan it will head north guys if it builds on the west side of the yucatan it will head west southwest and all of the agreements are showing that it will build on the east side of the yucatan and it gets all the way up within five days gets all the way up to 80 almost 85 percent confirmation that you will get a tropical depression within the next five days now national hurricane center don't have nothing out for this yet but i guarantee you this is what you're going to see next so please share this information guys i see other people copying me like crazy all they do is say what i say but they don't show any of the information saying where they get their information from so let people know the, the direct information what the truth is on this system you can see in six days it starts headed north and starts going into our gulf still headed east northeast within 10 days and building you also see the cyclone locations in four days you have franklin over there but now you have all this possibilities building up right over here by the yucatan and you can see where it goes it goes right towards the gulf now we're in five days strengthening up right on the edge of the yucatan going into the gulf of mexico and from here it starts going a little bit either west or it could head north now you see with these to the west that will only happen if it builds on the west side so i do not believe those if it builds on the east side of yucatan it will head north guys and you can see how it actually grows towards the northern side of the gulf of mexico and starts headed to the east northeast so it's still showing a wide variety of a spread but if it's on the east side of yucatan it will head north and if you follow it all the way towards 10 days you can see where it all starts heading it all starts turning to the east northeast guys plus when you look at the model data see what they hint at starting off with the euro you can see it builds right there by the yucatan literally in four days then it starts headed north while franklin starts coming towards the coast and this cool front comes down and still pushes that away while we get that hurricane coming right into the gulf headed right to the east northeast and so far euro is taking it a hurricane going right towards panel florida right into georgia still a hurricane while it goes into georgia and remember the trend we had a while back is that this was going to stay strong the whole time over land and then go out through the northeast with that trough and stay a potential tropical storm to a hurricane for many states i will keep you updated you can also see this with the canadian saying the same thing that's going to turn into a hurricane in the gulf and then go out a little bit sharper as it goes out through the carolinas and it's still trending you can see it on the go satellite coming out a hurricane going a little bit further to the south towards the tampa region as a hurricane and going out right along the coast staying strong all the way towards north carolina as a hurricane guys this is very concerning and not only is it trending it's trending that it will stay strong on land for multiple states Plus, you can see for this morning, you still have the tropical storm warnings out for Texas. Plus, you still have the red flag warnings over here in all this pink. That means be careful of possible fires, guys. You have the heat advisories and all this orange. Excessive heat watch and all this dark red. That means the heat seas could build your way. And it is going to be coming your way throughout the coming days. But you have excessive heat warning in all of this pink. And this is just for today. Plus, you still have the air quality alerts. From the wildfire smoke in the northwest matter of fact it's going to be so hot they believe over here in missouri that you could be getting up to 120 degree heat indices that is extremely hot guys this is definitely going to break records and you can even see here for illinois 
Normally, this is your, your temperatures that you would be having this time of year. You're forecasted to be in the high 90s, and your records where it's going to be right on the edge of breaking is all the way back in 1936, 1947. Now, that is on Wednesday. On Thursday, you have the same thing. You're supposed to be in the 80s. Now, it's going to be even hotter. You're literally going to be one to two degrees away from breaking records from 1936 to 1947. Even up here in Wisconsin where I'm at, they have it where record or near record heat will be possible. Look at the temperatures coming today, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Especially going to be the hottest on Wednesday and Thursday. Look right here, 100 to 113 heat indices in Wisconsin. That's pretty crazy. Plus, look at Minnesota, guys. This is your normal temperatures right here along this grayish green line right here. Your record temperatures is this red line right here in the 97s right here. You are going to smash that today and tomorrow being 99 and 100 on your temperatures. You even have it for Mississippi as well, guys. Historic heat wave this week from Wednesday through Saturday. The all-time record highs of 104 through 108. You will peak your indices from 110 to 120 this week. And in the red, you still have a significant risk where your daily highs will be possible, peaking heat indices of 110 to 120 as well. So please check on your neighbors, guys. Make sure people do not go into stroke with all this heat. So for today, you can see with HRRR, your heat indices are raising way up. And you can't even see the real numbers. You got to go over it to see it goes all the way to 114, 116. It just climbs all these hot numbers that's coming across for today. Now, this is coming back right again for tomorrow as well. It's coming all the way until the weekend. But look at it, it's going all the way to 113, 114. But if you go over it, you'll see that it's actually higher than that. Look at these numbers all the way to the north. 113 to 114 heat indices. Very strong temperatures rolling through, especially today and tomorrow. Thursday is going to be hot as well. 114 there. There's a lot of strong heat indices. Please prepare for these temperatures. Because you can see with the euro as you go through Thursday, it's going to be right back again. Very strong heat indices. As you go through Friday, it's going to be there again. Now remember, Friday and on is when it's going to start lowering down. So as you go all the way to Saturday, it's going to be there all across the south and the southeast. As you go through Sunday, as you go through Monday, it's still going to be there, guys. Now you're going to deal with this potential hurricane coming at you while you have these strong heat indices. And it is coming next week. Then as you go through Tuesday, it's going to be even closer. But night heat indices are right along the Gulf Coast. So it's going to feel a little cooler. Even nighttime lows going to get all the way down into the 60s. But as you go through Wednesday, it's going to feel a little better. But now you're dealing with a potential hurricane coming at you. But well, thank you so much for your time today. God bless you and your families. Please help alert other people. Let your neighbors know of these temperatures coming. Because this is just not even going to be what they're used to. It's going to smash records. It's going to be very dangerous. It's going to be multiple days in a row. Plus the potential hurricane that is trending, guys. This is getting serious now. It's trending even with the GOES satellite. So we'll update you this afternoon. Make sure you subscribe if you've never been here before. I do updates every afternoon in the tropics, especially when we have something that is going on. So I want to keep you as alert as often as I can. Before you go, I want to read to you real quick. Psalm 117. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. He deserves it from every single one of us. We have no idea the things that he saves us from on the daily. All a lot of people see is the things that he don't do. <laughs> I wish the best for every single one of you. God bless you and your families. Remember, all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray he keeps you safe every day of your life, you and your families. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Have a great day. And watch for the heat. Everyone.